You know, we've been talking about the summer and the eating, and I've been talking about how I've tried my best not to get off the couch whenever possible, you know. But it's, you know, it has caused the situation where I'd like to be in a little bit of shape right now, and here it is, summer's over. And So what do you do is the next question. Well, Liz, we have Dr. John Connors here. He's a board-certified sports podiatrist from Meridian Health. Uh, now, Dr. Connors uh, treats Olympians, world record holders. Uh, he is the guy who can tell you how to get started. So we invited him on the show today. Dr. Connors, welcome to the show. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Hello, doctor. Hi, thank you. All right, so first of all, you have offices in Little Silver in New York, right? Yes. So tell us about your experience with world record holders and Olympians. Uh, you know, over the years, I've developed a nice niche in treating the runners, and uh, I had the opportunity this year to go to the L London Olympics, and I had 19 athletes from around the world, seven from the United States, and a few from Brazil, Mexico, Morocco, Kenya, and Ethiopia, and I was invited to go to the Olympics the, uh, to treat the athletes as one of the uh, track and field doctors. And uh, it was a thrill of a lifetime. It was the pinnacle of my career being at the, uh, the greatest sports venue in the history of sports to be there treating and training. I got to run with them, too, uh, at that venue. So it was very, very exciting. That's, a, that's an am amazing experience. And obviously, you're the guy mm -hmm. to talk to about being in shape, staying in shape, not getting hurt. So sure. here we are. We're in the middle of September, right? Um, uh, if anybody out there is like me, and I know there are a lot of people, you're eating a lot of burgers and a lot of hot dogs, and you're enjoying every bit of summertime, and now you find yourself in shape, not the shape you want to be in. So uh, we were hoping you could give us some of the top ideas on how to get back on track, how to get back in shape, how to, how to do this the right way. Yeah, typically what happens is once, uh, you know, someone like yourself who has taken a summer off and uh, you probably gain a couple pounds, you're not in the shape that you want to be in, you want to embark on that training schedule again to get into the shape that you were in previously. The, the most common mistake I see is that someone like yourself, once you embark on your training schedule, you get too excited, too overzealous to get back in the shape that you once were before you. So you have to uh, embark on your training schedule with caution. I always recommend working with a trainer or a coach so they can monitor your progress so it decreases the chance of you getting injured. The, and the more out of shape you're in, the better chance you have of getting hurt. Is that, is that a fair oh, assumption? Uh, sure. Uh, again, you have to be cautious. Enter, uh, return back to your training regimen with great caution. And again, working with somebody greatly decreases the chance of you getting injured. And typically that's what I see is the, the patients come into my office and they say, I don't know what happened, Dr. Connors. I was looking good. I was feeling good. I was losing a couple inches on my waist. My pants size was, was coming down. And all of a sudden I couldn't get out of bed in the morning because my knee, my shin, my hip, and my lower back were hurting me. And that's what happens. So again, you have to enter with great caution. Uh, secondly, the diet. Diet is very, very important. It, it comes down to intake, outtake. You want to burn off more calories than you're taking in. And uh, until you realize that, that's when you're going to start losing weight, when you're burning more calories than you're taking in. Again, proper hydration is very important. You have to keep your body well hydrated. So if you were, let's say you were sitting in a hot tub this summer and sweating, that's not the type of... <laughs> Training you're talking about. No, absolutely not. You have to burn the <laughs> calories. You have Because it was hot. I don't know if I was burning, but it was hot. No, you, get out there, you have to get out there and burn the calories and uh, work up a sweat from exercising, not sitting in a uh, hot tub and uh, letting the body heat and your core temperature increase. That's not how you're going to get in shape. So I was basically doing the opposite. You're, yeah, you're doing a little bit more harm to your body than good. You're getting dehydrated and too overheated. Other than that, I was doing all right. You're doing okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's standing two feet away from a garbage pail that I know has the wrapper of the Pop-Tart I just ate in it. And I'm hoping he doesn't look that way because he's going to be like, what is this guy doing? No, so it's okay if you go outside after you eat the Pop-Tart and go outside and run around the building a couple of times to burn off the calories that you just put in by uh, eating that pop tart and what do you say to the person who's out there saying i just don't know if i can do it how do you encourage them now of course you can do it if there's a will there's a way and uh, again if you if you can't self-motivate then that's the importance of working with somebody like a coach or a trainer they'll motivate you they'll, mo they'll monitor you to get back into shape and get to where you want to be you have to overcome that mental obstacle to get back into uh, shape it, it's a barrier but everybody gets over it now you have a lecture tonight you're yes. a very inspirational guy and I, mm -hmm. so I, i'm sure a lot of people want to hear what you have to say T give us the details on that yeah tonight i'm speaking at the um roadrunner sports in shrewsbury uh, i'll be talking on uh, running injuries uh, diagnosis prevention and treatment of uh, the most common injuries that i see uh, in the foot, the ankle, the shin, the knee, and the hip. Um, I'll also share my experiences of uh, working with the world-class athletes and my experience 
at the Olympic venues uh, and just how to educate the, the patient, the casual runner on how to decrease the, the chance of getting injured. So again, it's at the uh, Roadrunner Sports from six o'clock to eight o'clock in Shrewsbury. You need to uh, register. It is free, but if you want to register, here's what you do. Call 800-560-9990. That's 800-560-9990. We also want to remind everybody that the Bayshore uh, Community Hospital 5K Run and Walk and Community Day is happening Saturday, October 6th. I was just at the one at Jersey Shore University Medical Center this past weekend. Couldn't have been more fun, except for the fact they were pressuring me to try to get me to run, and I hadn't <laughs> talked to you yet, and I didn't know what my training regimen was going to be. But it was, it's fantastic. So it's Saturday, October 6th. It will be a day of fun for everybody, and it is another another leg in the heart and soul cup, right? So uh, we hope everybody is part of that. We hope everybody gets out to your lecture tonight, 800-560-9990 to register. Dr. Connors, thanks for the advice. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you. It is uh, 816-943, the point.